stars, and they are left by the Magi. Now, you may also be wondering, uh, he constellation. He had a lot of close friends. Yes. yes. He had a lot of. He had a lot of boys. The constellations in the sky. We learn in Elder Scrolls Online that these constellations actually exist, like they have being. And I'm like, how is that even possible? Because they're just they're just aftershocks. They're just holes left behind by the Magi. I came to the the conclusion basically was that the different star signs and constellations and stuff like that, some of them formed together and they, even though they were just traces of beings that had left them there, they could form um, personalities and beings of their own. There are 13 constellations. Um, the three big ones are the guardian ones are called the mage, the warrior, and the thief. Um, the evil one is called the serpent. It doesn't have a month. Every, every other, every other uh, star sign correlates to the month. Split. That's such a Gemini thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's, there's other constellations uh, like that. They basically line up with the um, standing stones. Um, also, um, one of the uh, Dative Princes is born here because um, Meridia, who was a follower of Magna, she was a Magna Dean, uh, she decided to stay behind and create her own realm of oblivion because she was like, Hey, uh, fuck the other David Princes, actually. Um, Holy shit, she's a real uh, one. Um, not necessarily. She basically just hated Mo Like Ball and stayed behind because she hated Mo Like Ball so much that she just wanted to destroy it. Yeah, it's a real one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so all of this tearing holes th straight through to Aetherius, something pretty magical happened. And this was all part of Vorkon's plan. Because now, Aetherius could breathe down into Nern and stabilize Nern. <coughs> so in Magnus leaving, and his followers leaving, they actually created the stability, which they were running away from. Yeah? Very long. Oh, shit. Really some time. Okay. So, the spirits who remained in Mundus either died or were drained of their divinity. The etada are spirits limited by mortality and gods compared to elves in them. The elmafei lost their original forms. Nearly all life, plant, animal, or monster comes from the elmafei. These elmafei get divided into two groups, those who supported Lorcan and those who blamed him. The opposers of Lorcan were led by Ariel, and Ariel uh, at this point was strained by the space created by Lorcan, because they are the god of time, and they're having trouble with it. Stronger at Ada, who sided with Lorcan, were not wholly drained by Nern. Uh, these uh, become many of the Aedra we know today, such as Kine, uh, possibly legally distinct from Kenrath, it's un uncertain. Um, uh, Jabela, Mara, Julianos, and Zenithar, uh, the gods, the basically the, the, the eight divines. Mara. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is this a part of the original lore of everything? Uh, it's hard to ascertain exactly when the Pantheon set in place. I want to say this is stuff that Kirkbride would have written, because Kirkbride gets into really just divine shit. I want to say this is stuff written by Kirkbride around Daggerfall and Borderlands. Okay. Um, I'm just waiting for my big, my boy Big T to come in. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite god, Big T. So. <laughs> big T. Um, uh, around this time is when Akka shattered, but we've already covered Akka shattering. Um, Ariel gathered all of his followers at the Ur Tower, which is located on the Isle of Balfiera in the modern-day Iliac Bay. And nowadays, it is called, or was called, the Adamantine Tower or the Durant Tower. Um, yes. Now that we're getting into, like, Constantinople and shit like that, we should put, like, a map. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, that's a good idea. Pause the recording real quick. I'm calling. Ah! Oh, I'm on it, boss! <laughs> 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 